Hello guys, who here back with a quick short video for you guys. All right guys, so I say a quick short video. It turned out to be a lot longer than I expected because I do go into detail about how you're gonna obtain all of them. So I just had to pause myself right there and gonna say, yeah, I said a short uh, and you're probably wondering, a uh, short quick video, it's actually more than like 15 minutes long and that's not a short video. I thought it was gonna be under 10 minutes, but I'm covering every single mount and Mac rider and ally and all that stuff in this video. So it just turned out to be a lot longer than I expected. So just wanna correct myself right here while I'm editing to see you tell you guys that, yeah, it turned out to be a little longer. So not really short or quick but definitely in detail for you guys can obtain all the things that you want from all the Bunfest of uh, recent and also from right now. So just wanted to mention that. Uh, let's get back to the intro. On all the allies there is for Bunfest 2022. Uh, also, of course, this includes, of course, the 2020 mounts because they're very similar to each other. So I'll try to make this as short as possible. I will bund some of them together or bundle some of them together so it's a lot easier because some of them are just from the same place just different ones so i'll go over that when we get to those uh, i will put of course timestamps so you guys can go to the ones you want to look at if you want to look at the allies or the mounts or what amounts there are so this was a requested video so if you got any requests make sure you comment down below or on discord that's also linked in the description another thing that's linked in the description is also the guide for the bunfest 2020 quest steps if you want to go over that uh, everything is fixed at the moment if you you know saw the video last week everything is fixed now and so you just have to go to the description, check that all that out, and it's all fixed as of right now. So we got about a week left of this event, so you can still obtain all of these things. And there's also a lot of mastery involved getting all of these things here. So yeah, just wanted to mention about the, uh, the requested video, about the guide, and uh, everything that is linked in the description, and also about the timestamp. So that was sort of the intro, let's jump into the allies. All right, so first up, we got the two dungeon allies. And when I say dungeon allies, of course, the ones from when you're doing an egg, as you can see, I have one right here in the background and you can get, find the eggs, you know, in Dew top side, you can find Faye and Kandoria, uh, Forbidden Spires and so on. You can find the, the biomes there. But it's Chester and it's Hop City, I think it's called. Uh, that Those are the two allies that are in there. Uh, uh, Chester is tradable. The other one is not. Let me just get it and you can, guys can see the two allies. If I scroll down a little bit here. This Chester, as you can see right here, you can get that off the marketplace if you just want to get it. Because it's a little bit rarer than the Hop City. Uh, if that's how you say it, but this is not tradable. So you do have to go out and get some of the dungeons done uh, But Chester you can get that from uh, Of course just from the marketplace if you not already have it as well So these two is the ones from there. So those are the dungeon allies So just go out do the egg dungeons and uh, you will get these pretty easily actually So these two that was the dungeon allies. Let's move on to some of the other ones all right, so the two other allies is the baby bun masher and bonsley and i'll start with bonsley to talk about how you are going to obtain that ally don't worry about all if it isn't this whole lot looks like what you do uh, it is because i have a mod that <laughs> makes waypoints on all the eggs and it does the same thing for uh, all of the ones in the hub but of course we are in the trove hub and we are at the uh, easter part of the hub at the moment there is a crafting table or station and this is where you are going to obtain, uh, of course, Bonsley. And Bonsley is from down here. So from the Legacy Bonfest recipes, you can get it from right here. You might have to unlock it first. I can't remember. This is one of the like 2020. So it's a two years ago that we got this. But uh, it should be easily for you to obtain the recipe. And then, of course, get yourself. The, the harder part is going to get the refined chocolate. And, of course, refined chocolate is from right here. Uh, you need, of course, regular chocolate. That is from when you do egg dungeons or actually also challenges. You know, the coin collections and stuff like that. And, of course, you can get it from the eggs in Medieval Highlands, Fae Wilds, Condor and you top side as you saw in the previous and if you don't you do of course get tokens for the daily you know you do dailies every single day you do get some a few tokens but if you don't have enough tokens you can go ahead and donate chocolate that's also one of the dailies but there's a chance that you will get uh, the tokens as well by donating chocolate so just go out there get the chocolate 
and then donate and there's a chance you are going to obtain these tokens as well. So with the refined chocolate, you can go ahead and craft yourself. You need 25 to get yourself the Bonsley. And that leads us into the other ally. That is, of course, the Baby Bun Masher. I can also show you guys right here at the favorite stuff. Let me go in here, go up here, and also to the allies. Scroll down to here. As you can see, Bonsley is right here. It's not tradable, but the Baby Bun Masher is. And if I go in here, uh, yeah, you can see that it, oh, it actually is down very much now. It uh, used to be a little bit higher than this, about a million or so. So it's gone down in price. But you, if you don't want to pay for this on the marketplace, you can go ahead and craft yourself the Bonfest uh, gateway. Uh, this, of course, is going to cost you this the treat. That's also going to cost you chocolate and a token and some fey dust and some Queen's Trumpet, well, only one of them. Uh, and then you'll go, go ahead and make yourself this. It's also going to cost you some energy, of course. Uh, but then you're going to go and make yourself the gateway. And the boss then have a chance to drop the ally. So if you go in here, then it has a chance to go there. Or you can join somebody else. Uh, as you can see, oh, uh, yeah, that's something else. But I thought somebody was doing a, you know, a run for, uh, for example, a, uh, a, a delve. Right. So... You can join other people, up to eight people, right, in those. And then they can actually, you also can drop for you. Uh, it's not super rare, but it is quite rare. It's, it's rare. Uh, the amount is rarer than the ally. But of course, you can also, like I said, just buy it off the marketplace if you want to do so. But Bunsley, as we talked about before, that one has to be, of course, obtained through just doing refined chocolate. But you can do that by yourself. You don't have to have somebody else. You can do the delve as well for you. But joining somebody else, of course, increases your chances because, you know, you're just going through it faster. And that's it. That's not a bigger chance if you're with more people. It's just it goes faster when you are with more people. So and there is no specific, uh, you know, there's no specific floor it drops on. It just drops from any of the, uh, you know, any of the bosses in that specific day, gate del way, basically. So anyways, enough rambling on these two. Let's move on to some mounts. All right, so for the two next mounts, we are going to talk about Flopsy and Hopsy. And I'm going to go ahead and go into my favorites and show you guys real quick. The mounts, as you can see, we got Flopsy and we got Hopsy. Flopsy and Hopsy, these two are uh, fairly uh, easy to get as well because they also are craftable. That's why we are in the hub. And then down here, this is where you're going to get Flopsy. It's going to cost you 25 refined chocolate. I talked about it in previous steps, so I don't want to go into super depth about how you're gonna get obtain refined chocolate it's of course here you donate chocolate you get tokens you do dailies get tokens so on and so on and that's gonna get you uh flopsy F uh, hopsy is a little bit more uh advanced not incredibly but you do have to obtain it from here which of course you have to unlock all the recipes you have to unlock not all the recipes you just have to unlock the recipe for hopsy uh, but it's random which one you are going to get you need 10 in, in total of token uh, not tokens but recipes or 11 uh, sorry 11 uh, 11 to, uh, recipes to get all them uh, unlocked and if you are lucky getting on the first you don't have to unlock more recipes but you know there's some mastery in all of this 10 or 11 recipes you need in total you can see that how many you left maybe you already have done some of them you can also buy some of the uh, recipes of the marketplace if you want to do so if you don't want to use it uh, from here but uh, you need to unlock the mount hopsy and then you have to get your refined chocolate 50 just some um, regular chocolate that's not too hard and then some stat feed and then you can get from of course gardening or on the marketplace but that's how you can obtain hopsy uh, so that's why it's a little bit more advanced because you have to un unlock you know the recipe first you have to go through a few steps to get to the recipe and then when you get the recipe you can then craft the mount and as you can see uh if i go to my favorite stuff once again if i go down here um None of them, uh, well, Hopsy is tradable. We can go ahead and see how much it's worth right now. It's 1.6 million, so it's sort of worth going just to craft it. Uh, you know, the 50 refined chocolate is not that crazy to get, but it is a little bit. And of course, Dead Feet 100 is not very much at all. So, but it is craftable, uh, sorry, tradable. And then, of course, Hopsy or Flopsy is not. So that you do have to go ahead and, but that's only 25 and nothing else than that. So that's Hopsy and Flopsy, but we are not done with the mounts yet. So I I will go into the 2020 uh, mounts from the eggs. 
All right, guys, let's start with the 2020 floor eggs, as I call them, because they are on the floor. It's, you know, there's eggs, there's the big dungeon eggs, and then there's small on the floor. And of course, I have a mod on that makes the little waypoint on it, but it's these that looks like these. These has a little bit, I feel like they're a little bit darker than the other ones. Other, Let me go over and show you a 2022 egg. You can see this is a little more bright, I feel like, or a little bit more like animated. I don't know it, it just looks a little bit better in my opinion but these are great as well but it, as you can see right here they are a little bit I feel like a little bit darker so they are also, uh, they also a little bit rare I feel like the 2020 is a little bit rarer than the 2022 ones but you, you don't have to have the mod of course if you're on consoles you don't you can't you know get the mods and stuff and you don't need it basically because they're all over the place but it is a little bit easier with of course the uh, with the mod of course so but if you want to do just you can just run past them as you can see uh, you just run over them and you get yourself actually I actually got the roll away egg so yeah you can see and this is one is actually tradable so if you want to get that one the other ones are not tradable this is one of the new ones though but yeah this is one of the 2020 ones and of course there is the uh let me show you right here oh not the badges but down at the mounts and we are here of course and you got the roll away that's the one i just got lucky enough and then you got the three other ones right here you can see collect all three of colors for the bountiful eggs so these are the three ones that are available as well so these are the these are the old ones that you're gonna get from the uh i guess the red waypoint right here but the uh darker eggs or small eggs here but just run over all of them you can look collect them for chocolate as well or sell them if you want i'm probably gonna sell this one but the other ones are not traded but you can get go ahead and get yourself that i'm gonna see how much this is worth let's see 18,000 because it's old and it's super uh, easy to obtain you can see how easy it was so i'm probably gonna you know get this uh soul for pretty cheap as well so if you see it hey good congratulations you got a very cheap amount for that but that's the 2020 ones just run over the eggs and you can see they, they are all in the same biome that you can find the big eggs uh, so in geotop side fey candoria a new uh, forbidden spires all that stuff right so these are the ways you are going to obtain the 2020 eggs as well and you can see there's like 200 mastery points just from these because they all give 50 so that's pretty awesome so that was the 2020 let's move on to the 2022 uh, ones as well all right, we just came off the 2020, now it's the 2022. And I talked about these eggs before. These are, of course, you don't have these waypoints. This is because I have a mod that shows it, so I, it's a little bit easier. But I feel like these are a little bit more bright than the other ones. The other ones are, one of the other ones is down here. You can see, I feel like it's a little bit darker in the colors. Uh, I'll, I removed the other one over there that I did for the last step. But we can go ahead and see this one, uh, and it's. I feel like they are a little bit brighter. So, but you just run if you don't have them, you know, the mod t turned on. You can just run over all of the mods. They're super simple to get. You get it uh, all the mod. Uh, you can get 200. Sorry, 200 mastery points out of them, and I'm gonna show you guys right here in, under the mounts. And these are of course uh, these um, new ones. There are four of them. There are four of these, and also uh, actually five. Sorry, the bountiful, of course, the Bunfest bounty is as well, also from there. Uh, but there is four. There is the, uh, you know, the egg bird. I think uh, the car egg and the extra gander or something like that. And then the other one here. I'm not gonna try to paragon paragon egg something like that. But there is four of them. As you can see, they are. Uh, as you can see, collect all these four inspired from different of the actually Trovisaurus, as you can see, Bunfest, uh, you know, actual creation contest as well. So these are inspired from that. But there's 200 mastery points, 250 actually. So just as much as Vaganda actually. <laughs> so yeah, this is how you are going to obtain all of these, right? So you're gonna obtain all of these uh, through just running over these eggs, as you can see. Actually, I got one of them right there, but of course they're not tradable, but you can loot collect them for more chocolate. Uh, there is a few of them. Uh, I think uh, one of them is tradable. I think that's the uh, that's the one from here. Yeah, this one is tradable. Let's see how much that is costing at the moment. About 200, 300, 300,000 flux at the moment. But So this is actually something you can get from the marketplace if you want to choose so. But the other ones are super simple to get. I got them on stream for my alt account. It took it doesn't took very long. I actually didn't also have the old ones. So uh, that was pretty simple and easy to 
get. But yeah, just uh, run in the Fade Boreum, the Kandoria, Dude Top Sign, and stuff like that. You don't even have to defeat monsters to get these. Uh, you, just, you can actually go to U8, for example, if that's the lowest you can, or the highest you can go. And then you can just get the eggs around it. Just run past them. And of course, I also have a mod for you know Geo Top Hat to look different. And well, maybe also they stand out a little bit more than that. But yeah, this is super simple to get. And we can now move on to a little bit of a harder mount to obtain. All right, so the last mount is the Bunster Blaster. It's a very cool mount and it's from the Del Boss. So the Del Boss is where you are going up to obtain this guy. It's right here, uh, right there. You can also buy it off the marketplace if you want to do so, but it is about two and a half million at the moment. So that's pretty expensive. So if you want to farm it yourself, and I also want to say it is rarer than the ally is. So keep that in mind. The ally is a little bit more easier to obtain. But over at the crafting station, this is where you're going to get the gate away. Uh, you, of course, I talked about this in previous steps as well. If you want the spirit of a bonfest, you, of course, just craft it right here. Uh, but it's going to cost your chocolate. It's going to cost your token and some fey dust and a Queen's Trumpet. We just need one of these to get the gateway. Of course, I'm in a geode as well to, to make the gateway. And then the boss has a chance to drop it. But it's kind of rare, so don't expect to get it on the first try. But running with other people is going to, you know, go through faster. There's not a bigger chance of getting, you know, either the ally or the mount. But, you know, just goes through it faster is a little bit more easily so that's maybe a good idea to join some people if you can but you can do it by yourself there's no specific level it drops at it's just from the boss itself so yeah that's the way you are going to get is the bon uh bon blaster i guess the monster blaster i guess it, uh, it's more correctly what the name is but we're not done yet there's also a mac rider that's coming up right now all right, so last we got the Mac Rider from 2021, and that is going to be through the eggs of 2020. So you can go ahead and, you know, get yourself some floor eggs as we talked about. These are the ones that are a little bit more darker. I do have a waypoint on this one. That's a mod, but you just look for the one. You just go over all the eggs. They can be loot collected, so you guys can, of course, uh, just loot collect them if you get some of the ones that are not tradable. But this Mac Rider is actually tradable, as you can see right here it is tradable if i click right here go here you can see there is about two hundred and thirty thousand. that's because it's a little bit more rare than the other ones are um also yeah being from 2021 the eggs itself being a little bit more rare the 2022 eggs are a lot uh, more common than the other ones are so keep that in mind when you are running around look for the darker eggs but just run all over them. <laughs> any of the eggs run over them and just you know look collect the ones you can't trade if you don't have it at all but yeah that's how you're gonna obtain the uh, mac rider the only mac rider that is for this so yeah just run over the eggs as i do right here boop and that is gonna, you know, get you some chocolate, some flux, or some glim, and also a chance of the Mac Rider or one of the mounts or allies that I covered previously. So, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the request. If you got requests as well, put them in the comments. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.